Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter report card grades in Infinite Campus for the elementary level. Before we get into how to enter the grades, let's look at the account settings and make sure your canned comments are turned on. So to do that, you want to go over here to the person icon, that's your user menu, click that, and then go to account settings. Under account settings, make sure you have used canned comments checked. After you're done doing that, make sure you click save. After you've done that, now we're ready to go and look at the report card grades. And to do that in Infinite Campus, it's called post grades. So on the left hand side menu here, I'm in the what's called the old look right now. Down at the bottom here, you'll see it says post grades. And I'm going to show you where to find that in the new look as well. But when you click either link, either from old look or new look, it will take you to the same location. So before I click post grades here, I'm going to take you to the new look and show you where to find it there. Again, both of these will take you to the exact same place. So to change the look, I'm going to go back to the user menu here, and I'm going to click on Try New Look, and I'm going to turn it on. So for the new look, I go to Instruction, then I go over to Classroom Administration and click on Post Grades. When you get to this screen, let's take a look at some of the information here. We are in Term 1, so that should already be set for you. You shouldn't have to change that. And for Section, for most teachers, that's where you're going to find the different subjects or grading categories. If you're a Specials teacher, at this point right here, you're going to see your different classes. So from this menu, you want to pick one of these subject areas or classes. I'm going to click Mathematics as an example here. Next, we want to go down here to Post By, and we're going to change this to All Standards and Grading Tasks. You'll get a pop-up here saying that you're going to leave this page and that you make sure you save any changes before you move on. But we really didn't make any changes, so it's OK. I'm going to click OK right here. Now within this subject, I have the different standards here that are going to be graded. And over here under Grade, I have a drop-down arrow. So for each student, I have them grayed out here just for privacy reasons. But the student's name will appear right here. And you'll see that you can grade each of these different categories with this drop-down. I zoom back out so you can see now that I have one student here, my next student is here, and they'll continue as I scroll down the page. And it, you may actually have two pages of students. At the bottom here, I'm showing that I have a second page of students. So you'd leave the grade here in these drop down boxes, like we discussed. And then if you want to leave a comment, you click on Manage under Canned Comment. So I'm going to click Manage. And then you check off the comments that you'd like for that category. Once you're done checking those off, then at the bottom, make sure you click Save. Once you've entered those grades and the comments for the student, you would go up here and click Save. Also, anytime you're working on this, if you need to take a break in the middle of the class, for example, make sure you hit Save before going to any other screen. Once you've hit Save, you're done. You can close this window if you'd like to. Or you can log out of Infinite Campus and all of those changes will be saved. One final note is if you are a special teacher and you move between buildings or a virtual teacher that has students in both buildings and you need to go and select a different building, you do that up here at the top where it says right now for my screen 2021 Willow Creek Elementary. If I click that it will allow you to switch your school right here at this drop down arrow. So you would select that new school and then you would select Save, and it should take you to the other school. If you have any questions, please email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. And until next time, have a great day.